Hello everybody, this is going to be a confirmation video showing the best fossil finds that I found in about a month worth of fossil collecting on the Yorkshire coast. This is probably one of my favourite recent ammonite openings. It took a few hits but eventually it opened up to reveal an absolute gem. Once washed off in a nearby rock pool, it highlights the colours of the pyrite on the ammonite. Absolutely beautiful. This is a really nice example of a fossil fern. It's actually double sided which makes it even more interesting. The video that you're watching here features footage from a number of different beaches around the Yorkshire coast, all in the Whitby area. This is probably one of my favourite recent finds. Among the beach pebbles I managed to pick up this loose crocodile vertebra. And this is a very common find on the Yorkshire coast. Very thin and flaky fish bone from a sturgeon like fish. Once cracked open, this large rock revealed the outer world of a big Harposterus ammonite. Some of these ammonites can come down from the cliffs with such force, when they finally hit the floor, the negative will pop off, leaving a perfectly popped ammonite just laying on the beach. Off camera I found the negative to this one just laying right next to it. If you are interested in purchasing your very own fossil from the Yorkshire coast, please go ahead and check out my website called buyafossil.com. I've got a bunch of very nice fossil bone and super high quality ammonites up for sale. I've also got quite a few affordable pieces like cut and polished ammonites starting from 
just five pound i do ship worldwide so please go ahead and take a look if you are interested Poking out of the very top of this very heavy pyrite nodule was a ammonite keel, possibly a harpophorus. Although the outer world did crack off when I was opening it on the beach, it did fit back perfectly with just a little bit of glue. This is another example of that really flaky sturgeon like fish bone, the species is called Gyrosteus. This is the middle of what would have been a much larger ammonite, I picked this one up far out, it's been rolling around for a very long time. It was a harpocerous species, but unfortunately, I do think this one is too far gone. This has been washing around on the beach for quite a long time but it does contain something quite special on the surface. There's multiple crocodile bones and a possible scoot and also a red sea creature. It would have been part of a much larger rock when it first fell from high up in the cliffs 
but unfortunately the rest of it has been lost. On this fallen shale slab there's a very poorly preserved Hildoceros. I could already tell that there was no middle but maybe the outer world would pop off with a chisel. This is a special little bone find in this green looking pyrite pebble. It contains two little ichthyosaur vertebra. This is a bit of an odd looking ammonite, it seems to have had some type of mineral growth all over it. So this is a super exciting and very heavy find that I found recently. Poking out of the edge of this rock is part of a ichthyosaur rostrum. It seems to run at least to the very middle of the rock. I'm pointing to a number of very little and worn ichthyosaur teeth. I've highlighted on your screens now the teeth that could originally be seen. A tiny little bit more prep did reveal a lot of scattered, tiny and very fragile teeth on the very top of the rostrum showing so it's going to be going to a bone expert for future prep. Keep an eye out to see the finished fossil although it may take quite a while to be fully prepared. <laughs> 